I'm here with the number one caustic and the number one ballistic in the entire world, and they're here to tell you how to play their legends, their biggest tips and secrets, and which brand new perks you should and shouldn't be taking. Let's do it. First off, we have the number one caustic in the entire world, Giga Lord. She has 160,000 kills on caustic, and she is just absolutely and utterly insane. So she's going to take us through all of caustic perks and which ones she should and shouldn't pick. Then also give us her top tips on caustic while we watch her amazing gameplay in the background. Let's do it. All right, so Caustic's perks, level one. He has the choice between he can throw the bells 75% further or he gets the extra 50% to his ultimate. Which one do you prefer? Every single time the 50% larger ult. It is significantly better. You'll get that every ult. The range, it's just fun. It's purely, <laughs> if you want to have fun, mess around, go to the range, it's hilarious. But if you want actual good use, the larger ult, you'll get value every single ult out of that. Oh, yeah, Make 100%. Him 10 times like, better. It's literally pointless, like throwing gas traps further, like what do you get off that? Maybe there's a small instance where you can throw it further behind a wall before someone walks past or something, but largely like, yeah, the, you're, never, you're never gonna be able to capitalize off like the gas trap being that far in front of you know, most of the time. The only time I could think is, you're playing a room, two doors, you're holding one door, and the other door is kind of far, so then you can throw it at the other door and block it. Yeah, so like maybe fun, the other yeah. teammate couldn't get an angle. But how many times are you going to be in that situation where the larger ult is going to help you every game? Yeah, it's, every so, it's so situational for that, where the other ult always got the value there for like every single fight you yep. take with the ult. Yeah. And it's massive as well. It's extra 50%. The ult is absolutely it's huge. huge. Like, it's it, it really is big. Right, what about his other perks though? So he's got uh, his Nox Vision Persist Longest. That's where you can see people through his gas. And he's also got Regenerate HP while you're in the gas. I think it's pretty obvious. Yeah, so you definitely want to choose Nox Vision every single time. It it legit works longer. Like, it, it is noticeably better. I've had multiple yep. fights where I've won just because I could see them just those couple seconds longer. Here is a perfect example Giggle sent me of where the Nox Vision gave her extended vision so that she could perfectly kill these people. Yeah, we hit those. Good ult. Amazing ult! Okay. Nice. Even the extra like second or two seconds that it gives you to see them with the vision, like you can tell where they're gonna move and the way they're gonna play the fight just by having that small little bit of extra vision on them. So strong. Yeah, and obviously and they it means think you can shoot them through it. You can't yeah. see. People aren't used to that. They they yeah, don't even exactly. think to like look. I've killed so many people because they don't even realize I can still see them. And I'm pretty sure the healing thing's just super slow anyway, so it's pretty useless. And how healing often... is very, very slow. It's really slow. I, I don't get why it's so slow, because <laughs> like, like, you're only ever going to be in your gas for like a small amount of time. So why, if they made it really fast, maybe it would have been viable, but it's so slow. The it's only pointless. time, so I was actually trying to think of a time that it could be good, and I think maybe potentially it could be good if you're playing comp. Like final circle, you know, you're taking a lot of damage. And it's, you might have taken some dome damage too. Maybe that like... 30 HP that you gain from because everything's gonna be covered in your gas at that point. Yeah. Like if you're alive, final circle's closing, maybe you could get some value. Yeah, I was thinking maybe like maybe if it. you like maybe but if you're like healing it. on a door and you like ult yourself while you pop a bat so you get the double heal, but like even then it's just a waste of an ult largely. Like I don't know. I mean I, mean, I guess yeah, they can't I, push I tried you, it. But... I tried it once and I mean I just play with the lifeline. Like, like, yeah, literally, hundred <laughs> percent. If you want heals, just play, play with lifeline. Life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, well, um, so basically you're always going left. So you're always going right, left. So you're getting the extra ult and you're getting yep, the every time. better vision. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. So what are you, so I think you were saying earlier, you think Digi Threat is one of the main reasons Caustic's getting peaked right now because you can't have Digi Threat on SMGs? Yeah, so Caustic before, my, my personal issue is I would just get fried. I mean, I, every team has triple Digi. I didn't find one because I'm not an assault character. Yeah, so you and can't open the bins. I would just get beamed through my gas every time. It's like, oh, well, if only yeah, I had a digi, I could have actually. They can seen literally them. see better through your gas than you used to be able to, basically. Yeah. yeah. So without Bangalore's having digis and everyone having digis, a caustic is just like it's actually good. You're not just gonna get one clipped with an SMG through the gas anymore. Yeah. No one can see. Only you can see. Yeah, exactly. And it, it that alone makes him pick rate, in my opinion, just go up. No, yeah, it's actually It makes them actually good. People are now more hesitant 
to walk through the gas. It's like, wait, I'm not gonna actually be able to see this time. Like, I don't have a digi. I'm scared now. What's on the other end? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. What? Uh, so, um, what legends do you think are best to pair with Caustic? Um, Bloodhound, for sure. Why is that? Just so uh, you can see with the gas? Uh, it, well, you can scan, basically, so you know exactly where to throw a perfect alt. That's like true, you could, yeah. Like, your team gets up, you can see, okay, they're grouped up, like, throw it. Um, your team, Bloodhound, can see. Can run freely through your gassy just as well as you. Yep. Like, that's huge, having basically two caustics, right? Yeah, literally. It does help. Like, the scans, because even if they're playing the other end of the caustic, you can still see. Yeah, no, definitely. Also, you still <laughs> you still get aim assist in caustic gas. I'm, this is Dude, a I thought topic, it was disabled. Oh, me. I didn't know that. No, no, no. Okay. You, still, you get aim assist through. through ah, so if you scan, assist. your controller player is about to go. <laughs> yeah, they have to get huge. They're going to go kind of crazy. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> it, makes sense why you, it makes sense why you play caustic now. I've worked it out, all right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I think Maggie is like very good. Yeah, I mean Maggie's really, just really insane good. at the moment. I was actually gonna say, like, does Maggie like in a very in a very small way kinda counter caustic a little bit? Because she can like break traps through walls. Yeah, so she her stuff. passive is better than caustic, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. She just hits one bullet, she they're highlighted red. Like full red. <laughs> so if you pair up Maggie with a caustic, well, they can do things. Like you Maggie. It kinda, it kinda works the opposite way as well. Now, now, at the same from time, the Maggie ball, yeah. you caustic all the time. Oh, oh dude, Maggie is just insane. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, well, okay, so what would like if you had three top tips for caustic, what would they be? Like three overall top tips, you can include the new, you know, abilities and stuff if needed, but what are you just three general top tips for caustic? What I see a lot of caustics make mistake is like when they get somewhere, they immediately start fighting. But you should always immediately just trap. Like you want to make sure if what if you get crabbered what if you get knocked like have something to fall back on always yeah, so it's always like a okay, like, uh, fail safe so you can always just fall back behind the heal yeah, if you, exactly. even, you, always even have if you pop it yourself so they can't push or like deters them from pushing yeah. yeah that makes sense i also notice a lot of things when i see caustics fighting they seem to pop their own traps pretty early you really don't need to you don't want them to know it's there yeah you want them you to be, surprised. Want it to be yeah. hidden you want yeah, you to want them. that because yeah. they're not gonna push you if they see it, right? Yeah, exactly. So don't pop it unless it's like your teammates are about to die and you really don't want them to come, but hide it. Because you know, usually if someone turns a corner, they like they they usually don't like jiggle peek the corner, like activate a trap or check it. Most people will just like hard turn the corner or they'll slide down around the corner. And if you get hit by a costume trap and you do that, you're just slowed in the middle of the opening. You're just dead no every time. Safe. I've also noticed a lot of people that where they place the gas traps, like on doors. You don't want to place them on like the back of the door. You want to play if you're going to block the door, you want to place it like where the door opens. Okay, why is that? What's the reason for that? I have had so many times where it's on the other side and it won't trigger. If it's like a small character. Oh, is it because like, is it because the door opens like blocks that? Yeah, it'll, yes, side? they will just walk and it won't Oh, do anything. true. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I have That's had so that silly. happen okay, yeah. many times. So I won't even do it now because it's just, I'm not risking it. And then uh, if you try to block, like make sure they can't get in and you put it on that side, they can open it just enough to shoot you. Yeah, no, I've seen that happen before as well. Now we have the number one ballistic on PC with 40 to 50,000 kills on ballistic. Mr. Roto, he's going to give us his thoughts on all four ballistic perks, which are the best to use, when to use one or when to use the other, as well as the other few changes that ballistic got with this update. Ballistic got two base changes in this update. The first one being to his ultimate where they increased the range up to 90 meters where it only used to be 13. So if you're within that 9 meters, you'll get the effects of faster reloading, unlimited ammo, etc. And now when ballistic picks up a weapon into his sling, it will have wide attachments on it, which makes it insane for off-spine force. The flatline gets an extra five bullets. As for Ballistic Perks, his first two that he gets to choose from are Care Package Insight, which allows him to reveal the most valuable item inside a care package, and the other one is Ammo Vision, which allows him to see the relevant types of ammo in death boxes. I did think that the ammo perk was going to be the one that I was going to go for most of the time, yeah. but I'm actually finding more value from the scan care packages because you actually get points towards your Evo shield with that. Oh, do you? So, okay. I was going to say both of them feel kind of lackluster, to be honest. Oh, the I'm going to be honest, when I first saw them, I was They're super pretty underwhelmed. Shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, can, you usually know what ammo someone has while you're fighting them, so you don't really need that too much. And yeah. I mean, knowing what's in a care package is useful, but it's not crazy. But the, the armor's nice, though. I didn't know about that. That's nice. Yeah. So I'm leaning towards that more for that. And, you know, care package weapon is quite nice. What about level three? The other two choices. At level three, the two perks he gets to choose between are extra bullet, where you can gain an extra smart bullet charge so that you can have two of them, 
or he can choose a lasting bullet, which means your smart bullet duration in the world is triple. They are really good, actually. I, I mean, actually, the tactical, like the plus one tact charge, like I get two smart pistols. So does that mean you can smart insane. pistol someone twice in a fight and like they can take yeah, damage off both overheat pistols? Twice. They overheat twice. I that is eight. so much damage it does. It does 80 damage if they overheat on two pistols. That's mental. That's um, like an instant win on a fight. Yeah, like as well. So I, I'm always going for that one. I mean, the the like the second one, the one where, like triples. So it, does okay. that mean if it, I, if, it, if you like land on the floor, it stays there for three times as long? Is yeah. That what I mean? Or it stays on I the don't. person for three times as long? I went in the firing range and I didn't notice it stay on the person for longer than like. Cause it, yeah, because it, it says in world, so I think in world doesn't mean on person. Yeah. Yeah. So. And I do use the tactical like orb thing quite a lot, like to kind of uh, control space, especially close range. So it it would have value for that, but it's just not as valuable as being able to do two of them. I mean, I could push people, I can like queue both enemies, like two different enemies, or I could just do the same one on the same guy and do even more damage. It's it's a it's really cool. No, that's yeah, I know, that's super strong. Oh, God damn. Yeah, like it's it's really good. So. Overall, they're they're a little the blue one was super underwhelming, but the yeah, purple the blue one's one, major like, underwhelming. The purple ones are so nice. Yeah. So in general, you're always going to be going left left on ballistic perks. Now, Rotide, would you have your top tips for playing ballistic this season? Well, so a new change that I'm I'm going to be telling people is don't pick up your first gun like into your main slot. Yeah, definitely take swing. it into your slot because you get the white yeah. attachments. Yeah, that's actually so yeah. good. Yeah. Um, one that not a lot of people kind of clock on straight away is when you have your smart pistol locked on you need to flick up into the um, air you to, yeah flick up into the air because it has a higher chance of hitting them so if they're like around a rock or a piece of cover like if you flick far enough like sometimes it can go around the like cover, over the cover. Yep. yeah that which is sense. really really useful top three guns for the sling are re 45 especially now that it, it's one of the few guns that also has digi threat. Oh, as well. digi threat, true, yeah. Um, the um, oh, what's it called havoc. Oh, I'll always advocate for the uh, havoc. Havoc's just the best gun in the game, so always, yeah. yeah. Um, and honestly, the the rampage is also really good. But the gun that I'm enjoying the most in the sling, surprisingly, even though it's not like the PK and has a uh, the. Or is it, the, is it the hammer point? So the disruptor? Um, the mastiff is really good in the sling as well. Yeah, and then I guess the, the last tip is that the Q, the tactical orb, is I think a very underrated way to kind of push into buildings. So if I don't intend to hit a player with it, I will Q a doorway. So and you, clear you can the orb. zone a team out with a doorway, or you can even yeah. just chuck it like in a playable area of the building behind cover. You don't want them sitting behind to yeah. block off cover. Yeah, I feel yeah. that completely. It's a really underrated, like, the ability to control space. Yeah, 100%. I agree with that completely. I, yeah. I feel like that, that's something that's just underrated just for my players in general, is just controlling space. It's not always about yeah. doing damage with your abilities. Controlling space is such a big thing. He's the best 1v1 character. I'll always say that. No, 100%. I agree completely. Make sure you guys don't forget to go check out both Giggle and Roadtide socials, their YouTube, their Twitters, their Twitches, all of it. They both live stream bunch and post YouTube videos all the time. Both have guides on both of their legends over there as well if you want more in depth. Go into their Twitch chat, ask them questions, make sure you go drop them a follow and thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you'd like me to do any of these videos for other legends.